Well, good morning, ladies. I'm Coach LaVette Love, the CEO and founder of Love Life Legacy Coaching. Wanted to hop on this morning and ask you a question. Are you a morning person or a night owl? Which one are you? I personally love mornings. I've always been a morning person. I can get up, I can get going. Uh, you know, after lunchtime, I'm kind of declining. There are, I know a lot of people, a lot of women that are night owls that I just can't hang with because they stay up too late. So I ask you this question because I want you to think about what your morning routine look like. Because even if you're not a morning person, we all have jobs to do, right? We all have something to get up and do in the morning. And if you don't have a routine, you may have a struggle. You know, with each new day comes new opportunities, another chance for us to start over, another chance for us to do better. Yesterday is gone, it's forgotten about. We don't have any chance anywhere to go back into yesterday and fix, rewind, or start over, right? New day, new mercies. So I say all that to say how you start your day will depend on how the rest of it goes. And I say that because the first few minutes or hours of your morning can impact the rest of your day. It sets the tone for your day. That's why having a morning routine is important. Those first few hours are so important. So how many of you have experienced this? I raise my hand first. You set an alarm. It goes off. What do you do? Do you get up or do you hit the snooze button? Sometimes we hit the snooze button, right? You might set that alarm because you've made that decision. You're going to get your health back. You're taking charge. You're going to be intentional. So you set that alarm because you're exercising, you're going to meditate and pray, spend time with God, you're going to journal, whatever you need to do that's considered your time, my me time, right? And you have every intention of getting up and doing whatever you're setting out to do. That was the whole point of the alarm in the first place. Now I'm laughing because this morning I set a 515 alarm. And I'm going to be honest with you, I snoozed. Uh, I have committed to getting up every day, writing 60 minutes, working towards my book project. 60 minutes every day. Because I'm a morning person, I know doing things earlier in the morning works for me. Because I have wear so many different hats, mom, wife, employee, employer, I have to find my time on the front side of the day not after work. But when that clock went off at 5.15 for me to get up and get dressed to put my gym clothes on, what did I do? I snoozed. And I was like, oh. I snoozed and I went back to sleep for about seven or eight minutes, however long the clock goes, you know, will let you snooze before it goes back off. And so I was like, I got to get up because I have to get my exercise in. I have to get my 60 minutes of uh, research and writing time for my book. Oh, and by the way, you throw in a doctor's appointment. And this is all before <laughs> I get ready to do my professional, my full-time corporate job. So what am I gonna do the next time I set an alarm? I'm gonna get up, I'm not gonna snooze. And I don't want you to snooze because at that point, you're creating chaos in your morning. And how many of you ladies know we do not need any additional chaos or drama added to our mornings? So some mornings you get up. Maybe set your clock 10 or 15 minutes earlier if that helps. Then there are days you just can't make it. Right, you go back to sleep. So I'm glad I got up, was able to get my morning started. I did do some cardio. I'll have to do the rest of it before I go to bed. Um, I did do some research that I needed to do, but 
I, things could have went a little bit smoother had I just got up as soon as that alarm went off. And when you snooze like that, I want you to think about how did the rest of your day go? Did you notice how you felt? Was there a difference in how you felt? Did you feel rushed? Did you feel like you were running behind all day? How much did you get done on that morning when you actually woke up with that first alarm? Did you feel accomplished? Were you able to do all the things you set out to do? Now compare that day to the days when you hit that snooze button over and over and over again. I vote the clock manufacturers get rid of snooze. Just get rid, take the button away. <laughs> and if I had to guess, I would say that the mornings when you got up, as soon as that alarm went off, your day was smoother. You accomplished what you planned to do. Chances are sleeping through that snooze button just could not affect you because you made that decision. I'm going to get up and the rest of my day, it's going to be great. So remember, who sets the tone for your day? You do. No one else. You set the tone for your day. Those are the things that we can control. So we should start on the good foot. Think about the old saying, I know you've heard it. I've heard it. I used to hear it a lot growing up. Oh, you woke up on the wrong side of the bed. This meaning you didn't get up. You rushed and you taken all of that out on someone else. So let's, let's make sure that we get up on the right side of the bed, that we start our day off in a positive and productive way. And we can do that. But first, we have to create that morning routine that works for us. You know, school is in session. So there's a, a whole nother layer. You gotta get up and cook breakfast. Even though you're trying to teach your kids to get up with their own alarm, you may have to nudge them. So here's to having a great day. My hat goes off to you ladies who got up this morning when that alarm went off. And I give you, I give a hug to the ladies that snooze. I was a snoozer this morning for about 15 minutes, but I got up and I got it together. So morning person or night owl, let me know in the comments. And I'm curious to know when you do snooze a lot, how does that affect your day? All right. Until next time, this is Coach Lovette Love. I'll see you again.